Hi, I'm Simon Ditchburn. I'm the Managing Director of the Tudor Group of Companies and just recently I've been running a whole series of videos to explain our current promotion which is the rental return of 10%. Now obviously that has been up and running for a while. I've done some previous videos out there which are explaining where the idea came from how we physically make those 10% returns, how we actually buy back the units at the end of it. And of course, if you want to see those videos, then I'll put the links at the end of this one and then you can check back. But now that promotion is up and running, and it has been for a little while, we're starting to get the same questions over and over and over again from the customers. So I thought I'd try and address some of those questions. And the big one, of course, is what do you do about the exchange rate being 39? You know, we're not going to transfer any money across because the exchange rate is only 39 to the pound. Well, I do understand. I understand that very well. However, 10% is 10%. And I'm going to explain to you how exactly that is going to work. So it's relative to which side you are and which way you're transferring your money, of course it is. But let me explain exactly how it doesn't make any difference whatsoever concerning our promotion. So let's uh, turn back time a little bit. Now, I can remember uh, in the early days when I first moved out here, the pound used to be 74. 74 baht to the pound, and these were fantastic days. Then, of course, we had the crash in 2008, 2009, which was the big banking crash, and the money, the pound, actually dropped down to about 55. And, of course, today, people are screaming and shouting that the Thai baht is too strong because it's only 39 to the pound. So... Uh, bit of a question on it. But anyway, let's go back, let's turn back time because there is another factor that's got to come in and it is basically the new rules and regulations. That's the hotel rules and regulations. This is another factor and I'm going to include that into answering your questions. Now, let's turn back time as I was explaining. We know that our target, of course, is to make your 10% return. This is the target. This is what everybody wants to try and achieve. And of course, this is where our promotion is taking it. So let's turn back time a little bit. As I was saying before, back in the days of 2009, 2010, we used to get 55 to the pound. So let's say you were buying property, basically, at 55 to the pound, and you were probably transferring across £100,000 in sterling, obviously when you got to Thailand you ended up there with 5.5 million baht, which is a, a super number as it was back then. So you look at that from the point of view of how did I used to get the 10% return? Well, of course, your 10% would be 550000 per year, that would be your per year, and then you would be aiming at 45,833 as being your monthly income. Now, this is where the hotel laws come into things. Back in the day, this 45,000 every month used to be achievable, very much so, but this was before the hotel laws came in. Back in that day, you used to be able to rent short term of about 2,000 baht per night, giving you at least 60,000 per month. So you would quite easily be able to cover the 10% over to your customer, especially if you're in groups of units because it's difficult to do it on just one. Then if you're in a group of units, you're covering your occupancy because sometimes they're empty, sometimes they're full, but one in a group would cover the other one. So, you know, it has to be balanced within a group of units. But these were the days before the hotels, before the hotel licensing. So these numbers were achievable. So yes, of course, we used to get much, much more to the pounds back then, but also the rental return was achievable. But we've got to come forward in time now to 2019, where these numbers don't exist anymore. You've got to forget it and you've got to look, well, how can I possibly do it in 2019? So forget this because these days are gone. So let's take a look at exactly where we are today in 2019. So 
as everybody is pointing out to me, in 2019 we only get 39 to the pounds. So your 100,000 sterling, of course, is only going to be 3.9 million baht when it actually arrives here in Thailand. I think that's pretty clear, obviously. This is the bit that people are complaining about. So let's take a look at it, but also assuming about the hotel laws, because today we have the hotel law that says you cannot rent on a daily basis. You've now got to rent on a monthly basis. So let's assume we've got our 100,000 in sterling, we've transferred at 39, you've now got 3.9 million baht in Thailand. That is probably going to buy you a small one bedroom apartment or a studio. But of course, to get your 10% your the magic number, you are basically looking for 390,000 per year, per year to make your income of 32,500 per month. These are the numbers you need to make your 10%. The problem is, the budget that you've got is probably going to buy you a very small one bedroom unit or a studio. Now I know for a fact that the small one bedrooms and the studios are only bringing in today around 10,000 per month. So in actual fact, you're a long way away from your 10% return. You are literally making between 3 and 4% return. The hotel laws have taken that possibility away. Now there is the possibility that you can invest into a hotel, but not the condominiums. So you've got to look at that carefully. So here comes the, pro the point of our promotion. Well, if that's the case, and that's how you're looking at uh, the exchange rates and what the values are and what you can buy, how on earth is that going to work with your uh, promotion? Well, it's quite simple. Our promotion doesn't say that you buy the whole condo. Our promotion says you put a 20% down payment and then you pay nothing for five years, which is your trial period, and then at the end of the five years, you can either buy the remaining 80% or you can sell your 20% back. This is the promotion that we have. So, our average sales, let's say five and a half million, up to six million baht for the units that we have. Basically, let's take your six million baht and we divide it, or even let's look at it another way, let's look at your budget. Let's say your budget is 3.9. That it means you spread your 20% over three units. Okay? So instead of buying one unit, you're putting your 20% over three units. Now, our 20% there is um, going to be uh, 10,833 per month. So that's our 1.3 million on separated, spread out to three units. That is the monthly return we need to get our 32,500, which is our 10%. And as I've explained before, our units, we have been printing for seven, eight years, so we know these numbers are right. We are receiving between 18 and 22,000 per month. Obviously, we pay the customer his 10,000 on each unit. So, this is how you take your 3.9 million exchanged at 39, spread it over three units because of our promotion. I have got your magic 10%. The exchange rate has made no difference to me whatsoever on this particular promotion. So I hope that gives you a good idea of how you're covered. That is definitely thinking out of the box and it's giving you the result that you want. So I'll see you next time where we answer the next question. But for today, that was the exchange rate of 3.9 or 39 to the pound. See you next time.